The definition of an era is simply a span in time, but in the NBA, this word holds a different meaning. It symbolizes the rise and fall of teams, and today I'm speaking about the Philadelphia 76ers. With the likes of Julius Irving, Moses Malone, Mo Cheeks, and others, they accomplished the unforgettable 4-5-4 to win an NBA title. Even Charles Barkley became a member of the Unstoppable Dream Team and accomplished so much during his era. Now, some say that even Allen Iverson should have won the title and held up that trophy, but every era doesn't have its ups without downs. The 76ers have been through era after era after era, but my question to you all is... During the Drew Holiday era, they acquired many different guys, but had an injury-plagued season. Former NBA dunk contest champion Jason Richardson was a victim of what was going around on that 76ers bench. Then the Sixers get guys like this. <sighs> yep, go on ahead, laugh it up, laugh it up, get it out the way now, go on ahead. The most disappointing news that every 76ers fan had to deal with was that star center Andrew Bynum was sidelined since day one, not being able to play one game as a 76er. Now the biggest facepalm moment of the season was acquiring number one pick Kwame Brown, who turned out to be a bust, but in the words of Andrew Bynum, accidents happen. Well let's see if I can change the fate of the 76ers in 2013 and beyond. It's time to begin the era of IKC. I would like to welcome y'all to my association. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pie King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I hope I got you guys' attention. First off, I want to thank Wise Now for giving me something more to look forward to in NBA 2K13. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was getting kind of bored, man. I've actually been through, what, three or four of my careers with about three or four different players. I play a lot of blacktop, and it seems like I really don't do much else with this game. So, Wise Now was telling me, hey, man, you got to do something you love. Pick a mode and just run with it. So, I've decided to start a 76ers association. Now, I know a lot of people are like, we never see any 5-on-5 five -five game from IKC. It's always one-on-one. -on -one. So what I will tell you guys is there will be trials and tribulation because I'm not the best 5-on-5 -five -five guy in the world. I'm not even going to lie to you guys about that. But what I will tell you guys is I'm a die-hard 76ers fan. Since birth, it was just in my DNA to be a basketball fanatic. I am something like a sports buff. When it comes to the 76ers, I know just about everything that you need to know. Now, when Charles Barkley was on the 76ers, that's when I started watching. Yes, I was born in 87, guys. You know, you can add it up, I'm 25 years old. Now, I know that the 76ers had a lot of bad years until AI got there, but I'm telling you right now, as soon as AI stepped on that floor and he crossed up Jordan, y'all can't act like y'all don't remember that. I was out of my chair. It's that simple. I've been hanging with the Sixers since day one. It's nobody out here that can tell me anything about the Sixers. I'm straight up telling you right now. A lot of people always say, how can you be a fan of a team that hasn't won a championship in over 20 years? And I look at people and say, how can you hop on bandwagons just because people get star players? But that's here nor there. What I will tell you guys is in episode one, I will be simming the 2012 to 2013 season. Yes, I will be making a little bit of tweaks to the roster to try to make it more realistic for the 2013 to 2014 season. But what I want to say to you guys is thank you for watching. Also, I will be leaving a couple trades and a couple different management moves and buyings and signings up to you guys. I will be using pollcode.com when I create my polls and I will leave things in the description. So for what I want to tell you guys before this video is over, when you watch my association videos, you want to go inside the description and make sure you read over everything and make sure you look at all the links that are clickable because a lot will be happening in this association and I want to have you guys involved. This is IKC signing out. Thank you guys for watching and leave in the comment section how did you like this video. Peace y'all and I'm going to see y'all later. I'm out.